Okay, here we go. All right. So today I am here to help y'all with y'all Zeta Corza. Um, if y'all play, if y'all play the game modded on servers and stuff, this is the way that I found that that works. Um, I did find a video that tells you how to fix it, but it was like all in Spanish. I and I know a little bit of it, but I don't know how to read it. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not hundred percent. You know, good with Spanish like I am. Like. All right. So like, um, okay. So you start your game up and it loads. And you just get the 99%. Hold on, let, let me show y'all first. Okay. So if you're getting this, when you load up the game, it says loading card metadata. Stuck at 99% or it goes to 100 and then nothing happens. So you get this error. Then there's another error code that you get. You um get this one too. It says, unfortunately, is that a course? Now you get this error when you have content on the card. You go into... uh the content manager app that's kind of glitch right now but if you go into that you get this error and then there's another one if you if you join a server and your game just crashes so there's like two there's two ways that your game is going to crash if you don't have all the dlc downloaded then it's going to crash that way or if the game is if the lobby is full then it's going to crash regardless because there's no spots open so it's going to kick you out that's what any game if it's full you're not gonna be able to get into it but um what i found that works is if you're getting the if you're getting the what is it called the the, the, the metadata 100 percent crash or if it, it just loads on your game basically still saying like it's, it's not gonna get you through what you're it's not gonna open the game so what you do is you go to this but a brass actually no before you do anything you want to Verify your game files. I do that because it's not gonna hurt anything on my game. Let this go through by integrity of files. I don't know how long this is gonna It's gonna take. But uh I should still be able to go into my files So what I'm gonna do is I go to browse my local files and then I have two monitors, drag it over. What I did was what did I go to? You have to go to your mods. Yeah. So if you have any, if you're on a server, you have modded cars, like no Hezzy, um, the Tokyo Midnight uh, server. So what you want to do is you go to your cars. You're going to highlight all this. And then you're going to want to delete it. I'm not going to delete it because I literally just fixed my game. I fixed it today. Um, There's another photo that you want to delete too. Um. I think is this one yeah, yeah it's the driver you're going to delete the cars and the driver I'm gonna scan all this and delete it and um i'm gonna tell y'all the, the, the for me the reason why i did it for me was because because i had it i had an external um, hard drive that i usually uh plug it to my pc i had that had all my car dlc from servers on that and i ported it all over to my new game on my new pc and um it kind of messed up some stuff because I guess I had I had I had the old data files and they had like some new stuff and it just did not work that so that's what I figured oh yeah also with the tracks um delete all the tracks to delete all your DLC and then once you get into the as of course you're gonna have to install all your DLCs over again I might say that you still have it but you don't have it just download the DLC again and you will get it to also um if that doesn't work, you might want to validate your um. You want you might want to uh. What's let me let me check. Let me check. What is it called? There's something else. Um. On here on the servers, that is a requirement for you to play on it. Sometimes you might have to do it again. That's also what I had to do. I'm scrolling through real quick. Second y'all. Shit called I Ugh. It's like a white. The white? Definitely not VIP. The hell? What did I? Let me see. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called. Um. I'm gonna show y'all. Oh. oh my god. 
it's, it's called whitelist verify so uh, if you have everything down it's still not working just start your steam id verification then um saying do it again and you should be straight and that's what i found for the um or is that a cord set to work? If y'all have any more issues, just let me know and I will make another video trying to help you. I think that's all I got. I don't even know why my game's still validating, but I hope y'all have a good day. It's your boy K Bird, and I'm out. Peace.